This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy VII. But yeah, we're on the elevator with Esther going up to race Chocobos, so... Start off here. Hmm. Well, that's what happened. I'll talk to Dio directly. You just concentrate on the race. Oh yeah, getting back to the other thing. There are many different types of Chocobo jockeys. It's not only for criminals. Some people compete for the fame. Some people compete for the money. Some only for glory. And then there's people like you. Oh yeah, I'll teach you how to ride a chocobo. Alright. Um, first use the select button to choose either auto or manual. In other words, either you control the chocobo or let it run on its own. But it's pretty hard to make the chocobo run the way you want it to. If the chocobo doesn't like you, it won't listen. You can't really help on this one. But... Most of the chocobos that I'll provide you with are mellow, and you should be able to handle them. When you're riding, use the square button to speed up and the X button to slow down. But if you go faster than the chocobo can handle, it'll lose its stamina really fast. And use a directional button to move the chocobo left and right. Use a circle button to get a boost to speed. Of course your stamina runs out faster though. There are some bad-tempered chocobos that can't pace themselves, and they'll lose their stamina pretty fast. For these kinds of chocobos, you should set the controls on manual and slow it down. Finally, some advice for the restless. Once the first and second chocobo cross the goal line, press the start button to end the race. Yeah. That matters especially if you get farther into the racing, and you have a chocobo that's like much better than the competition. Otherwise, you could be waiting a while. You knew? Hi, Joe. Hey, Esther. You're looking pretty as usual. Thanks. Let me introduce you, Cloud. This is Joe, one of the top jo chocobo jockeys. Nice to meet you, Cloud. If you're with Esther, then... Great. He's an up-and-coming jockey. He's only been down here for a day, and already he made it up here. What? Oh, I see. So, what did you do down there? Sorry, you're not supposed to ask about the past here. Pretty interesting. I have a feeling that we'll meet again. Then, until we meet again, Cloud. Yeah, it's kind of like a lounge room for the jockeys. I'm going to check on the chocobo. You just wait here for a while. Yeah, it looks like there's an old computer monitor in the bottom left there. And there's a materia sitting over here. Ramu. Pretty sure if you don't pick that up here, we won't actually be able to come into this particular room again. The race will start in a few moments. Will the jockeys for the next race please proceed to the paddock? I repeat. But I didn't repeat it. So yeah, they're all leaving, but we just got to sit here and wait for Esther to come back. Nothing else going on in here. Not 100% sure what these are. Cloud! Thanks for waiting. I registered in the, you in the next race. This is a chocobo I prepared myself. He won't lose easily. Oh yeah. You know how to ride one? Yeah, I got it. Then good luck. Yes, we will go to manual. Beat him up a little bit. And if you actually hold down R1 and L1, or R1 and R2, at the same time, it'll restore some of your stamina, so your meter won't go down as quickly. I didn't seem like I was going very fast before, so I tried the other button, but that did slow me down, so... Alright, now we're 
racing back up. And yeah, if you kind of get boxed in by some of the other chocobos. But yeah, as long as you hold down those buttons the whole time, you should be able to keep your meter filled up fairly well. And this race really shouldn't be too much of a problem to win. Yeah, except maybe if I didn't do that soon enough. Yeah, I might not win. The only penalty is you'll just have to do it again. don't normally have a problem with it, but I think I would just got confused on my buttons there for a second at the beginning. Too bad. You had a tough situation there. Let me find a better chocobo for you. Wait here for a while, okay? Yeah, so... Since this is set up as a must-do to continue with the story, they probably set it up as like an easier race the next time, I would imagine. I think the most of the time, so I just win the first one anyway. Go figure, the time I'm recording it and then I lose it. Not gonna go back and redo it or anything like that. We'll just go forward. All right, round two. Might sprint a little bit here just to get ahead a little bit. Because, yeah, I mean, I can refill my meter with R1, R1 and R2 anyway. Like we got a decent little lead here now. Yeah, you could use the left and right to kind of steer a little bit, but for the most part, it's just, it's going to follow the track anyway. So that's not the biggest issue when you're on your own. If you're in the pack, then it matters a little more. Yeah, so. Like I said, she probably gave me a better chocobo for this one also. Plus I a little bit better familiarizing myself again with what to do. Congratulations! Now you're home free. Oh yeah, the owner told me to give you this letter to, or give this letter to you when you won. Boy, if you're reading this letter, then you must have won, and won a victory that I'm sure you earned. I heard about dying from Esther. Now that you are victorious, I promise that you and all your friends will get a full pardon, and you all will be set free. And also, by the way, of, by way of apology, I prepared a little gift for you to use on your journey. Sorry I couldn't be there to see to tell you this in person, but I'm a very busy man. Sincerely, Dio. A gift? Cloud, isn't this great? The assistant manager just stopped by and dropped off a buggy for you. Now we can go over deserts and rivers no problem. Okay, Cloud, I'll be waiting outside. Mm, the letter continues. P.S. I just recently met Sephiroth. He must have a lot of fans with boys your age. Why don't you get his autograph? It seems he's heading towards the south of the river, towards Gungaga. Sephiroth. I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, well, if you ever get your own race chocobo, come back again. I'll take care of your registration and everything. I'll see you again. Okay. Um. I want to keep people that have better 
growth material overall. I guess these all do. The only thing is, I need to get some of my pieces of armor back. Who had the best ones? Who had the other silver armlet? And yeah, it automatically puts us out in the buggy now. Yeah, press the OK button to get on. Cancel to get off. Yellow rivers and deserts, yes. And you can actually go into Costa del Sol and Junon with this, and you can ride back across the ocean. But we can go back to Junon now if we want to. Okay, so those two have those. Sith out of there. Let's go with Barrett. I'll leave this group, but I'll just... Yeah, we got better equipment now. So. Because I can give him the... Finra Beta, at least. I do actually need to have Manipulate on now. For some of the stuff that I'm going to be trying to do. Alright, there is an enemy that you can fight while you're driving around in the desert now. That can teach you a pretty good uh, enemy skill. But it's going to do like a thousand damage to your whole party so if you don't have anybody with that high of HP I don't think it's really worth trying now this is kind of the direction we need to head in that is our next destination up in the forest over there you can kind of see some buildings or something this house up here is something to keep in mind but there's nothing I can do with it yet we actually still get random encounters when we're driving the buggy. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about getting out to try to find enemies. There's a particular one I'm looking for here. Not that guy. We've already seen that one. Yeah, this is what they do when you... Let them split, or let the little one come out of the big one. And there are even smaller ones inside of that one, too, if we let it stick around long enough. Now, I don't think this one can produce any more now. Probably won't get a chance anyway, you know. I think I need to be on this side of the river for the enemy I'm looking for. Maybe it's any of the beaches around here, but since we have the buggy, it doesn't matter anyway. We have access to all of it. Okay, I think this is it. Yeah, beach plugs. I don't need all of them, probably. Couldn't manipulate it. Well, let's just keep fighting and get rid of at least one of them, probably. Okay. Alright, yeah, so it turns greenish there. That means we have manipulated it. So if we wait until Barrett's turn, we'll actually be controlling the enemy. So it has Bite, Big Guard, and Ice. We want to learn Big Guard. Now, 
I'll have to do it twice because, well, Eris has one of the enemy skills, so this won't hit her. This is actually one of the really great enemy skills in the game because it's gonna do barrier, magic barrier. Aw, oh, man. Doesn't have enough, enough MP. So yeah, you can see there's an extra meter counting down for barrier and magic barrier for Cloud and Barret now. And I think it also does haste. So, yeah, Mighty Guard's usually been pretty good in most Final Fantasy games where you can find it. And I think, yeah, a lot of times it is like a blue magic type of spell. Which, your enemy skills in this, that is basically your blue magic materia. Now we gotta find another one, though. I could have put this, both materials on one person, but I didn't really think it'd be an issue because, well, I didn't count on us getting an attack like that. This is better. Okay, got him. you do hit him physically, that will knock him out of the manipulate. This is also another opportunity for you to go back into the gold saucer if you want to. And you can start doing some of the battle square stuff to try to pick up prizes in there. And the, the speed game if you want to do that to get the prize for that. Or just any of the other stuff you want to get. Wonder Square to try to get those things. I'm not going to do any of that yet. I don't think anything I'm looking for is... I don't think I'm going to lose anything. If I just wait until later. So, the next things we want to do... Is I want to go back to Costa del Sol and take the boat back across to Junon. Yeah, we are over 20,000 gil now. Mostly thanks to that cactuar I fought. So yeah, we don't have to get off of it or anything, just drive straight into the town. And I think we just have to talk to this guy and we might have to pay him to be stowaways. Thinking of being stowaways? It's a hundred gil to Junon. Give it to me and I'll put it to, uh, put in a good word with the captain. What'll you what'll we do? Hey up. Uh, okay, come on this way. And yeah, it's not gonna make us do a cutscene or or any stuff on board the ship this time. It's just gonna be a straight trip across. Ship's always got a back in. Hmm. 
And I think to go back to the other place, all you have to do is just walk into the ship, basically. Now, there was the one store where I didn't buy everything before. I don't think it was this one. I think this is the weapon shop that wasn't stocked. I don't think they're restocked with anything new at this point. Yeah, so I think I already have all this stuff. Need to find the accessory shop. Yeah, not this one. Yeah. I don't know why I was getting stuck on there, but something was stopping me. This is the inn. But I think the next two floors both have shops. This was the one that had materia, I think. silver glasses. This one's fine for me. Uh, nice upbeat marching music here. Now if you come down here, I think there's something we can actually do here now. Yeah, those guys are training here basically now. If you want to do some nice leveling up, there are some enemies you can actually fight in here now. I think I can take them on. So yeah, if you hit that, the alarm will go off. And then you can actually get random encounters in here. I'm pretty sure is the way it works. Okay. I'm gonna say it took long enough. Okay, these guys are the ones I want. First of all, I probably will use, yeah, the big guard here. I'll try to steal. Morgan going on. No, don't. Ah. Okay, he is the one that has life. Sometimes it's hard to tell who it's targeting with the way they have the the way they have your characters set up and the way the camera's facing. Yeah, so those guys are decently... you can do it. And yeah, see, they're worth 140 ability points and 1400 experience. And 3000 gold for Gil. And we got a deadly waste. So... You can spend a little bit of time around here 
it would certainly get you caught up as far as levels and stuff. And it's a good place early on here to try to level up your materia as well. I don't think I've had deadly waste yet. Yeah, it uses bio 2 on all opponents. Okay, I'm gonna try to actually get out of here without another fight now. On my trip back through town, over to the other continent, I might try to get into a few battles there. But for now, I got some other stuff on this continent that I wanna do. I'm heading back this way because I wanna to talk to this guy. How about a ship taxi? Only in Junon. Free to Air Force personnel. Sure, call him. Roger. Hey, taxi! Yeah, so you can call the helicopter and it'll take you out of town. So it saves a little bit of time. You don't have to walk all the way through town and use the elevator to the bottom part and all that. The next town, I'm sure if you say that, it just takes you to the other side of Upper Junon. So, just in case you were wondering. And outside Junon it is. Take care. Alright, and we do have the buggy out here still. Now that Zem Zealot, the big owl looking enemy, I actually want to find one of them. And there it is. Because we are going to try to manipulate him. We'll just try to get rid of these little guys. Wouldn't be too big of a deal by now. And yeah, I know I'm really low on MP and all that, but I figured I could make it to the I can make it to Fort Condor, and we can stay there for free, or whatever they charge us. Because it's also time where we're going to be able to do another Fort Condor battle. Stop missing it, Barrett. Finally got him. Took a while. Okay. This one has white wind. Oh. That's fine. I'll go ahead and give him an either. Because I don't really feel like trying to find another one of these guys and manipulate it. He used up too much of his MP using that Thunderbolt on me. And this hits all of us, so I get white wind on both of my enemy skills. Oh yeah, he's flying, so you have to have long range ability to hit him. And restore level up, so I got cure two now. Now, if you want to look at our. Here he is. That one has four enemy skills already. Hers has, yeah, seven of them. But yeah, White Wind and Midgard are on there. Didn't get laser for her, but we'll get there. All right, get out of the buggy. And we'll head inside here.
just want to go over here and go to rest and drop a save probably. Let's rest, okay? Go get some rest. Yeah, and then I certainly shouldn't have to worry about the 4,000 gil limit this time because I have plenty. Unless they raise the prices on stuff, but I don't think they do. It's just that eventually you're going to try to... You're going to want to hire more soldiers, potentially. The battles will get more difficult. Okay. Now, before we actually go and do this Fort Condor battle, though, I am going to go ahead and call it there for the day. So, we'll start out next time with the, uh, what is it, fourth or fifth battle here? I think it's the fourth. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.